Okay, so today we're going to be looking at the piano prep test and it's the ABRSM syllabus. Uh, this is a really nice set of tunes and pieces for those uh, pianists that are just starting out. And we're going to start off with uh, the first tune, which is Cracking Open a Nut. Uh, when you're starting off doing something like this, uh, it's a good idea to have a look at the rhythm. So if we have a look at the rhythms that we've got here, our right hand is starting off with a crotchet, two quavers and a crotchet, and then we've got a rest, okay? The left hand is doing the same thing, so it's gonna go T, copy T, all right? Uh, the right hand is then gonna have two quavers, crotchet, crotchet, so it's gonna go copy T, T, or if you wanna change it into a different words, you could say chicken, hen, hen, and the left hand's gonna go chicken, hen, hen. So I always say to my students, when you're starting out uh, doing something like this, you might want to just do it without even putting your hands on the keys, all right? So if you're going to tap that out, we've got four beats in the bar, so we're going to count one, two, three, four. Hen, chicken, hen, rest. Hen, chicken, hen, rest. Chicken, hen, hen, rest. Chicken, hen, hen, rest. Okay, we can then have a look at the notes. So on the right hand, we've got a G and a B, which are over there. And the left hand, we've got a D and we've got a B, all right? So remember, the right hand and the left hand are going to be copying each other with the rhythms, but not with the notes. So we'll talk about dynamics in a minute. We're just going to see if we can get the notes right. So we're going to go on the count of four. We're going to go one, two, three, four. Rest. Do the right hand again and left hand okay now you'll notice hopefully that i did something there with the dynamics you've got a p which stands for piano and you've got an f which stands for forte and the idea is that you're going to start off playing quietly and then you're going to play loud all right so that can be quite tricky for some of you the other thing that you'll notice is you've got some little dots underneath all the notes and uh, the idea is that those are staccato. So for instance, if I was going to play it staccato, that is staccato, where the, the sound is a bit shorter. If it was going to be played legato, you can see the notes are a bit smoother. But we don't want that sound, all right? We want to have these sort of nice, sharp sounding, um, very short notes, okay? So you can, you can get that by just sort of bouncing your fingers a little bit off the keys. All right, so if we're going to try it again, Listen out for the staccato, listen out for the dynamics, the changes, if it gets uh, quiet to loud, and uh, uh, see if you can play along as well. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Rest. And now louder. And. Okay, well done. Now, you might have noticed one more thing on the score, and that is, you can see that there is this little um, symbol over here, which looks a bit like a math symbol, a greater than, less than symbol. And all that is saying that you want to really accent that note, okay? So if you manage to do that, well done. So for the next uh, exercise uh, we're going to do, it's called Swinging Through the Trees. And for this exercise, you're going to be starting playing with your left hand, and then you're going to be playing with your right hand. Now, like we did before, the first thing you should try and do is just see if you can tap out the rhythm, all right? So you'll notice that this piece is starting with a minim, which is a longer note, and is followed by a crotchet. So if you wanted to give a, a word to that rhythm, you could say that that is cow, all right? So it could go, uh, cow, hen, cow, hen, cow, hen, cow, all right? And that last note is actually a dotted minimum, which makes it for the count of three. If you're going to tap out the right hand rhythm, you'd go, cow, hen, All right, so it's always important to just get your head around the, the rhythm because that's quite important that you're playing this with the right rhythm. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to see if we can find the starting note, which is an E, and you're going to be using your third finger on that note. All right, so we're going to be looking at an E and then a C, D, C, E, F, G. 
okay? And then in the right hand, we're going to be going E, G, F, G, E, D, C. Okay, so I was just focusing there on getting the right pitch. Uh, the next thing you'll notice is that your hands are playing separately, so you can kind of focus on what they're doing, but in both cases, they're, they're starting on the third finger. All right. Then, the next thing you're going to notice is that you've got another dynamic marking. So you've, you've got to start uh, with a piano marking, which is quiet, going up to a forte marking, which is loud. And you'll see you've got this long line over here, which is a crescendo line. Now, for some of you that are just starting up, that can be quite tricky. Because basically, they want you to see if you can get louder over the course of those four bars. So if you start off quietly, let's see if we can do that in the left hand. We're going to go on the count of three. One, two, three. Now the right hand is starting loud, so we're going to go... And we're going to get quiet. Okay, so that can be quite tricky. And remember, you can increase the dynamics of the keys by pressing them harder uh, to make the sound go louder. So we'll try that again. We're going to start off quiet and get louder, start off loud and get quieter. So we're going to go on the count of three. One, two, three. And loud. And getting quiet. Okay, well done. Okay, so we're going to be moving on to the third piece here, which is called dreaming. And you'll notice there's um, an indication for the sort of expression they would like you to have, which is uh, played dreamily. All right, there's a rough tempo indication there as well. Um, the general idea is, though, that you want to be able to keep this moving without stopping. Okay, so again, we're going to tap out the rhythm in the first case. Uh, we've got some crotchets here, we've got some quavers. So we're going to pick a nice, uh, nice steady tempo and there's two beats in a bar. So we're going to go one, two, hen, 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 chicken, 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 hen. Left hand is going to go hen, 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 chicken, chicken, chicken. Okay, so you can see that the right hand and the left hand are playing pretty much the same uh, rhythmic patterns. All right, now we're going to see if we can find uh, the starting note. So here, we're going to be starting on an A in the right hand, and we're going to be using our fifth finger, which is our little finger. Okay, so we're not going to worry about too much about dynamics for the moment. We're just going to see if we can get the notes right. Now you'll notice that we're moving A, G, F, D, E, F, G, A, G, A. So it's actually quite a nice piece because it's moving all in step motion. All right. We're then going to start on our fifth finger on the left hand. And again, we're going to move in step. So we're going to go D, E, F, G, A, G, F, E, D, E, D. Okay. So uh, I would in the first case just try and see if you can get the notes right and get the rhythm right. Um, once you've managed to do that, we can then start to think about dynamics. Now, you remember from the last two exercises, you've got P, which is piano, which is quiet. You've got a crescendo marking here, which is getting louder. Uh, you want to get mezzo forte, uh, medium loud. We're going to get quieter again then to piano. Starting again quietly, getting louder, getting quieter again, and then finishing quietly with a piano marking. Okay, so we'll see if we can do that. I'm going to pick a nice uh, sort of steady tempo, not too fast, not too slow. Okay, so we're going to go uh, one, two, A, G, F, E, D, E, F, G, A, G, D, E, F, G, Okay, so you'll notice I was trying to put in the dynamic expression. All right, so should we try that again? You can try play along as well. So we're going to go one, two. Okay, well done.
done. Okay, so we're going to be having a look now at the first piece in the book. And uh, this is called Train Ride. And I want you to see if you can listen out for dynamic markings, uh, expressive markings. So have we got staccato notes? Have we got legato notes? And uh, seeing what else you might be able to do to improve your own performance of this piece. Here we go. that brings us to the end of this video tutorial uh, if you've enjoyed uh, what we've learned today well done and uh, remember if you want to try out some of the oral listening exercises we've got some separate videos which focus specifically on listening skills um, I haven't gone through all the pieces in the book because obviously you've got both the option of doing some more pieces out of the book and you've also got some free choices so your choices are basically limitless <laughs> um, but we offer Skype lessons so if you're keen to learn more uh, just get hold of us and we'd be more than happy to help. Well done, everybody.